Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360. There are a lot of page builder friendly themes and a ton of themes that say they're compatible with Elementor. However, when it comes to color, there are only three that win the trifecta. There are a few places where colors can be set in the theme customizer, in the Gutenberg editor, and in Elementor. Having the same colors to pick from site-wide is a win for designers and content creators because it is a great convenience and it helps to ensure brand and style consistency. Themes that allow you to manage the color palette centrally and then shows those colors in all three areas win the trifecta. In this video, we'll take a quick look at this feature so you see what it is and how it works with the different themes. There used to be a great way to ensure consistent color choices site-wide. I used to recommend and use the Central Color Palette plugin. I created tutorials showing how to use it. This plugin used to let you define a set of colors in the WordPress admin that would show everywhere. However, when Elementor released its global color options, Elementor didn't provide a public application programmer interface for developers to get and set colors in Elementor. As a result, the Central Color Palette plugin is no longer compatible with Elementor, and its author hasn't kept it updated and no longer provides support. When making this video, I tested a number of free Elementor themes. These were tested but didn't make the cut. Astra, Generate Press, Ocean WP, and the Page Builder Framework. They had no color integration with Gutenberg or Elementor. The Suki theme does have color integration with Gutenberg, and it has an option for integrating with Elementor, but the Elementor integration currently isn't working. Elementor 3 was released the end of August 2020. In November, the Cadence theme was the first to provide integration with Elementor Global Colors. In December, the Neve theme also added color support with the Elementor Editor. Then in April, Bloxy was the third theme to do so. As far as I know, these are the only themes with this feature. Let's start by looking at the Cadence theme. We can see it has more than 60,000 active installs, 122 five-star reviews. And if we look at the downloads per day, which is a nine-month chart, we can see that the usage is increasing. If we check the support forum, we can see that the Cadence team is active in answering user questions. So I have here a test site with the Cadence theme activated. And if we go in to the color palette, we see Cadence has a global color palette. What I'm gonna do to make it easy to test and see what's happening is I'm gonna change one of these colors to this red and we'll save it. Now let's go in and edit one of these posts. And you see that the color palette is consistent. The change we made in the customizer shows up here. And it's not possible to change these colors here. You would change them in the customizer. Now let's go take a look at a page. We'll open the sample page. And let's look at the color palette here. Here's the Elementor Global Palette. And we see these are the default Elementor colors. And here are the Cadence colors. The Cadence has copied over the colors from the customizer into Elementor and added them to the global color palette. Elementor has a feature, Site Settings, Global Colors, and this is where you can change your global colors. And note that Cadence added theme global colors under that. Okay, so this is where you can change colors in Elementor. What happens if we change the color? Let's update. Let's exit from Elementor and go to the front of the site. Oh my goodness. Cadence not only integrates with Elementor to add its colors to the Elementor color palette, but it also does a two-way sync so that if you change the global colors in Elementor, they're reflected back into the customizer and the linked content and Gutenberg. So that's how the global color palette works with the Cadence theme. Now let's look at the Neve theme. We can see it has more than 200,000 active installs, 
689 five-star reviews. If we look at the activity, we can see that it's increasing slightly. And if we check the support forums, we can see that the team is active in helping users. On the test site, I've switched over to the Neve theme. And if we go in and look at the color options, we can see that Neve comes with several pre-designed color palettes. Let's just change the text color here to red to make it easy to see. We'll save this. Again, you see how when we change it here, it changes where it's used, just like with Cadence. Now let's go and edit one of these in Gutenberg. And now we can see that the Neve color palette was active in Gutenberg. If we go into a page, if we check now and take a look at the color palette, you see that Neve has added its color palette to the Elementor list. Now with Neve, if we go to the Site Settings Global Colors, it has not added them here. So the only place you can change would be in the Customizer. Now for the Bloxy theme, we can see that it has more than 20,000 active installs, a perfect 481 five-star ratings, when we look at the downloads per day, we can see that activity is increasing. And if we check the support forum, we can see that the team is actively answering user questions. If we go to our test site, we can see we have the Bloxy theme activated. And if we go into colors, here's the global palette. All right, so let's edit one of these colors. We'll make it a blue. And this one also. Okay, again, so that it's easy to kind of see when we're testing. Okay, so let's edit this one in Gutenberg. And we see here's the color palette from the customizer. So it's bringing the colors into Gutenberg. Let's go and check out the page in Elementor. And here's the theme color palette added into the Elementor color palette as well. If we look at the site settings, we see that it's not adding them here. So again, with Bloxy, we would need to, if we want to change the colors, we would need to do that in the customizer. Now for some discussion and conclusions. Let's start with some definitions. Define global. Customizer, Gutenberg, Elementor, the same color palette everywhere. This is really global in that it's site-wide. Elementor has a feature called global colors, but these colors are only available in the Elementor editor, so they aren't really global. All three of these themes add true site-wide global colors that can be set in the customizer and carry through to Gutenberg and Elementor. Define linked. When you change a color in the global palette, the places it was used are updated also. There is a link between the definition and use. And we saw that all three themes also have linked colors. If you change a global color in the customizer, then the places where it was used also change. Define two-way sync. When you change a customizer color in the Elementor Global Color Settings area, it updates that color in the customizer. Only Cadence had a two-way sync between the customizer settings and the global colors in the Elementor Site Settings panel. Some people just use Elementor Pro to create the header, footer, and all of the content. Obviously, in that kind of case, having a global color palette doesn't matter. However, if you're using the theme for your site styles, and you're using Gutenberg to create site content, and you're using Elementor for landing pages, for instance, then having the same color palette available in each place is a very nice convenience. You don't have to copy and paste text codes. Also, if you change something in the customizer, then you don't have to go change it manually in the other two places. This keeps your branding and styles consistent. What's the big deal? Don't all themes do this? Well, actually, no. In fact, as I found when I tested a number of the popular Elementor themes, 
Many of them don't even copy their customizer color palettes over to Gutenberg. And as far as I know, these are the only three that have the integration with the Elementor Global Color List. So these were standouts. Clearly the developers of these themes are going the extra distance to make WordPress work as it should. Even while things are in a state of change, Elementor's new global color settings and the quickly evolving Gutenberg editor make it a challenge. It's also worth noting that my tests were with the free versions of these themes. These are not features requiring a premium version. Cadence went an extra step to also set up a two-way sync between the Elementor global color site settings and the customizer. That extra step, the extra refinements, are not uncommon in the Cadence products. With Neve and Bloxy, you still have a site-wide global palette and linked colors, but you need to remember to set them in the customizer. Well, that's my look at Cadence, Neve, and Bloxy with a global color palette and integration with Gutenberg and Elementor. I hope you found the comparison useful. There's a text version available on the Elementor 360 website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Thank you for watching.